Inside Cowboy Football, putting a wrap on this week's show. This week, we bring in the demons of Northwestern State, Dale uh, Pivado, Bradley Dale Pivado, get that name right, and his crew. A game last year, Coach, that took a, a bat down by Malcolm Bronson to win over there on the road. Very close, very competitive. A uh, lot of energy in the game, which there usually is in the Northwestern game. Uh, it's a great rivalry, you know, through the years. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about it, too. I only remember, really, in all the years I've been at McNeese, there's only been two games that were lopsided. In 2004, Northwestern handed it to us pretty good. In 2009, we handed it to Northwestern pretty good. But other than that, all the games have been very close. Very seesaw back and forth. What do the uh, what do the demons bring to the table? They very impressive. Their last two outings. I mean, they beat Mississippi Valley State pretty handily, and but I was really impressed with the Nevada game. You know, okay. uh, 40, 45, 34. You know, at Nevada. Uh, you know, 500 yards of offense Northwestern had, and uh, I was really impressed. But uh, I like their quarterback, Brad Henderson. This will be his third year to start. Uh, six, I think, seven seniors on defense. You know, some guys, some familiar faces that you guys are going to notice because they've been around there a while. So it'll be a huge challenge for us. All right, there it is, the game for you. Come on up. This Saturday, 7 p.m., get to come back to Cowboy Stadium. It doesn't yeah. seem like we've been there all that many times. Actually, only once, but it'd be good yeah, to get back. Very excited. Cowboys lead the series 40, 20, and 1. We already talked about the one game we had to give them back because of playing the baseball player. <laughs> I thought that was kind of interesting tying that into Tim Leger, who also played a little professional baseball. Yeah. You see the one tie. It's one of the few of any ties that the uh, Cowboys have in their history, that was back in 1971. It was a 3-3 game in the rain, and Carlos Madado missed a field goal at the closing second. So even back in 1971, coach, uh, kickers missed field goals, too. Well, you're supposed to let Carlos rest on that. I mean, come on. <laughs> don't, we, don't be bringing that up 40 years later. <laughs> All right, Coach, just your, your thoughts as we get ready to wrap up here for this week. Uh, excited to play at Cowboy Stadium and, and get a home crowd. Very excited. Very excited to be home and, uh, you know, really excited to get back out and prepare because we got to play better and our kids know that. And uh, we have to move some guys around with some injuries, but uh, we'll be ready.